Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Poster My Wall, which lets you edit images and videos for your publicity. So it's pretty cool that you can use this and it has some pretty unique features that I haven't seen in other editors. And if you guys want to check out the deals that's going on, they will be coming up with some good deals. So be checking that link in the description. All right, so let's jump over to Poster My Wall's dashboard and check out how the actual editor works. So let's jump over there. All right, guys, this is Poster My Wall dashboard and it's pretty easy to get started. The first thing that you're going to see are the menu on the left. We, we can get started there. We have the designs in the center and we have the folders that we've created right here. So, for example, I created an old folder and I store all my old images there. Now, if we want to create a brand new one, we click on this new button and we have the option to create a design, a video, create another folder, a shared folder for your team, social media post. We can share this to Facebook and Twitter. We have an email campaigns, which is a unique feature that Poster My Wall has. Well, let's create a brand new design, click in here, and we're gonna be greeted with the templates. So we have template categories to start off. We can use the search or we can create, create a template from right here. So for example, we have events, small business, church, party, and I don't know, more concerts, and I'll just grab um, healthcare. Okay, I'll grab healthcare and we're going to see the other templates inside of here. And let me select something that's kind of good. Let me see something that has a video on it. Okay, this one has a video. So I'm going to select that one right there. We can customize this template by there. The, the sizes are pretty good because they're 1080p by 1080p. And this is how it works. On the left, we have the access, assets that we can add. Photos, media, text, layouts, clip art, and backgrounds. On the center, we got our design. And if I click on something, we have the editor on the right. So for example, I have the options for what I used here on the right. We could use the layer section right here, send it to back to front. So depending if you want to put something in front of it or behind it, we have the font styles. We have all these styles available. We have the size, the fill, the color, the alignment. Something that I like right here is that they have gradients. So for example, if I use a radial gradient, I can select, let's go back to that yellow. Yellow and the second color will be, I don't know, kind of orangey. Right there, a little bit more red so we can actually view it, all right? So now we can see the gradient and the words. It makes it look more, way more modern than just keeping the plain color. We have the alignment, line height, letter spacing, background, transparent, shadows, um, layout, lock it in place so you don't move it around. And we have alignment on design. So for example, if I want to hit a dead center, I'll use this one. Oops, that was, oh, it's used to the left. So let's keep that centered over here. Okay, dead centered there. But if I don't like it, I'll just move it up here and just keep it the way it is. Keep alignment to the left and there we go. Keep it that way. Okay, so what happens if I play this video? So I'm gonna click right here on this little play button or we can also hit the space bar. So I'll do that. And we can see the actual video playing around. If I, let's pause that. If I click on that video again here in the background, we can replace it by clicking here or we can replace it by using the background settings on the left. So if we wanted to replace it, we have these options. I can upload my own video or I can use stock videos from here. So for example, we have the Getty images that will take credits. We have the story box, which is free. Pixel Bay, that's also free. So let's say story blocks and let's just say, I don't know, beach. Let's kind of keep it that way. And I'll grab this lady right here and I'll replace the video with that one. So there we go, now it's loaded and let me click play on it. And we got that beach right there. You can see everything's really easy and straightforward to use. Um, again, if you wanna replace it or let's bring in some stuff. I'm gonna show you a cool feature, which is I'll add my photo right here. And I got this guy, this really handsome guy, I'm gonna add him. And I got him right here, but for obvious reasons, that doesn't look good. They got the crop, we can replace it again, we can remove the background or we can mask it. A mask is a really, um, I haven't seen that in other editors and background just removes it that way and I get the background away. And it's really easy and straightforward. Mask will do it by the way that you select it. Just let me click here and if I select these little dots right here, it lets me create a mask for later on to actually keep that mask there. Maybe I want to do my own design there, um, cut out myself, which I wouldn't waste that time, but it's used for other type of features. Now, I'm gonna get rid of myself right there. We have also the media available right here, the videos, the audio. So in this case, let's add an audio and we can do a search right here. For example, add stock audio and I will search for guitar, all right? And in guitar, we have all the audios that we can use. We can switch by genre. We can use instruments, mood. So for example, mood, I want something playful. 
and it's SFX. I don't want FX right now. So just this. And we can play it right here. Let's grab that one. I'm not going to spend time just checking every single video. So I'll grab that one. It's loaded in and we're going to see it right here. So now we have that audio. We can add another one if we want. Now, if I go back and play this video, we have audio now. Just whatever mood you want to give it, you can do it there. Now, if I want to add some text, we have plain text. We add fancy text, add menu. Add menu is pretty good. It saves you a ton of time. Another feature that I haven't seen in another editor. So if I add menu, um, I would select, for example, the classic, which would be like our title on the left, description on the bottom and pricing on the right. And you can select these I've added before and I still have them here. So if I want to use it again for the same design or add more to the menu, if I add that one, it's going to create it for me. And here we have the menu. It'll save you a ton of time just to have the menu there because to align everything by yourself, it's just time consuming. We also have the add animation. So we have text right here with animation. So in this case, now we have transitions intro and out. Don't play. Um, we have the transition information here. For example, peek down shows you what it's going to do. Swipe up and for example, swipe right. And it just shows you what it's going to do. Let me get rid of that. Click that one away. We also have the clip art. For example, if we want to add some shapes, um, I don't know, like this little triangle here, add that shape, um, switch it around here, uh, kind of keep it there. Let's send it over here to the corner and change that color to something like black. A little fill here, keep it, I don't know, grayish or white. We can also do a linear gradient here, see how that looks a little bit better. Get rid of this right there, and we have it there. Just in case we want to add some information. Or, or for example, I don't know, do this. Uh, switch it that way, keep it here. Send it to the back. Right, send this one to the front. Like that, right? Change the font size on this and just keep it nice and going, right? Get rid of that one because it looks nasty. And again, we can also add clip art right here. We can switch up the background as a solid color just in case you don't want something moving. A gradient, transparent, upload background, or stock photo. So all that in this editor. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Like you see, just, I like using templates. Save me a ton of time. And you guys already know that if you see my videos, we can also resize, save, collaborate, publish or download. We have our file options right here. If we want to duplicate, open, download, we have the editor, the ad, we got undo and redo, and let's get out of here to check out other features. So one of the other features that these guys have is for example, the team section. If you want to add your team members, you invite them via email, they sign up and you have the available to do a team collaboration. We have the social post. If you add your social media, Facebook and Twitter, sorry, you can do that. We have the email campaign, which is also a unique feature. So for example, if I wanted to create one right here, let's actually continue this one. We can select the email subject, pre-header, link text, and the text content right here. Text content, as soon as I write, it's going to display on the right just to show you how it's going to look. We can align that to the center to make it look a little bit better or the whole thing. Some bullet points and so on and so forth. You can write your email there and send out these email campaigns. Now, if I go to mailing list, I can add my own contacts right here manually. So just separate them by commas or I can upload a CSV and just send out a bunch of them. Now, before you send out, you need to verify your email with this. It'll do it by itself. It'll send out a verification email where, for example, if I select my Gmail, it's actually going to send out an email so I can verify that I'm the actual owner of that Gmail. This is meant so you don't spam people or use emails that are not intended for everyone, right? So it's pretty easy and straightforward. And one of some of the things that you see here will depend on the plan that you're on. Now, like I said before, there will be a deal going on. So check that link constantly to see when that deal will be coming. So there you go, guys. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.